Hi, it's Paul from Wicked Acorn. We're here in Worthington Park in Sale in Greater Manchester. That's the second time we've done a video in Worthington Park, and I promise we're going to do a proper video on Worthington Park someday. But today, we're here to talk about the hottest guy in science, Brian... No, no, not Brian Cox. We're here to talk about thermodynamics. We're here to talk about this guy. Brian Cox is cute, but he's not hot. He was born on Christmas Eve in Salford. His name is spoken countless times every day, despite being dead for well over 100 years. The Joule is the name given to a unit of energy. His accomplishments are often overlooked because today we take them for granted. Science! He was born into a Manchester brewing family and received a good education. At the age of 15, he was working in the family business. Electricity was all the rage in the early 1800s and young JP took an interest. He inadvertently shocked a servant girl and she became unconscious. He blinded me with science! Undeterred by this, James set about figuring if the brewery would be better powered by electricity. An idea ahead of its time, and unfortunately, not 100% solved yet, as he soon found out it was cheaper to burn coal than to supply the batteries for the electric motors. This led to the discovery of Joule's Law, which states that the amount of heat per second that develops in a wire carrying a current is proportional to the electrical resistance of the wire and the square of the current. Science! All very heady stuff, but it's the reason a toaster works and why your laptop or phone gets hot when it's doing a lot of work. He blinded me with science! He came up with this foolish contraption. It's a kind of Rube Goldberg water blender. A falling weight spins paddles around inside this container and the water eventually heats up by one degree. It doesn't do much really, but it demonstrated the first law of thermodynamics and became the energy unit now called a joule. Later, he worked with Lord Kelvin and came up with the Joule-Thompson effect which is the concept behind how your refrigerator works. Yes, from toasters to refrigerators, there's a Manchester jewel in all of them. Science! It took us a while to find his grave, but it's quite easy when you know where to look. The sale in Brooklyn Cemetery is split in half by Marsland Road. It's in the northerly half, the part with the old chapel, if you go around to the back of the chapel, it's just straight down this paved footpath, just past this junction in the pass. It's the one with the primroses in the foreground. His gravestone carries the number 772.55. It was the number established by Joule of the mechanical equivalent of heat, established in the old style units as foot pounds per British thermal unit. The Manchester Guardian of 7th April 1905 has a picture of the clay model and reports, The work has been entrusted to Mr. John Cassidy, the well-known sculptor of this city. It was unveiled on 28th October 1905. Cassidy had to work from pictures of Jewel, who had died 25 years earlier. To celebrate the 200th anniversary of Jewel's birth, a ceramic pavement plaque by local ceramicist Gordon Cook was installed in front of the existing memorial statue. He blinded me with science! If you've enjoyed this Manchester moment, please like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook. Science!